after the collapse, people will need a place where they can go and get the supplies they need. A safe place where you can take your barter items and trade it for stuff you need at one specific spot. Think of it like a post-apocalyptic Walmart, or you can simply call it a trading post. If you have the supplies and have an entrepreneurial mindset, this could be what you're doing after SHTF. So we're going to go over what items you should stockpile to set up your own trading post or post-apocalyptic shop. This will benefit the average person as they can bring in their stuff to one trusted spot to trade for the stuff they need rather than roam around and try to trade with random people and risk getting jumped and having their stuff taken. But it won't only benefit other people, it will benefit you as well. You'll be able to get all kinds of trading items coming to your trading post, maybe rare items that you need and forgot to stockpile. Let's go over barter items that people will most likely be looking for and what you'll need to stock your trading post shelves. First off, you'll need food. This could be anything you want, but some good items might be freeze dried food, canned foods, food rations, rice, beans, flour, peanut butter, baking soda, fruit drink mixes, and other common prepper foods. If you have chickens for eggs and cows for milk, then you have a constant supply of bartering foods. People will probably show up on a daily basis and bring you stuff to trade for your eggs and milk. They don't have to only bring you items, they could work for you or provide some sort of services in exchange. Spices and seasonings. People will be eating flavorless food and will want some spices and seasonings to make food taste better. So these can be a good item to stockpile. Next is water. Clean water will be a rare item that most people won't have a way to get. So you can stockpile water bottles, water rations, or you can keep lots of these water filter straws. These will be extremely valuable because as I just said, most people won't have a way to get clean water. You could also just keep a large gravity water filter tank and let people fill up their bottles from it and take what you want from them in exchange. Next is batteries, AA, AAA and 9 volt batteries. People will need batteries for flashlights, lanterns, radios and carbon monoxide alarms among other things. Definitely stockpile batteries. People will need nails for building fences, boarding up windows and doors, making repairs to their home after a disaster, building a shelter in the woods, making traps, and many other uses. Nails aren't something you can easily improvise and most people will have a use for them. So definitely keep nails. Soap bars are used by people every single day and they will be important for people to stay clean and avoid getting sick after the collapse. So keep lots of soap bars. You can buy them or if you know how to make them, that's even better. Instant coffee. So around 70% of people in North America drink coffee every day. People will miss coffee a lot and will treat it like a delicacy. Everyone will be looking for their coffee fix after the collapse. So you need to stockpile as much as you possibly can. You're going to get some good items in return for it because people will be desperate for it. Over the counter meds like stuff for pain relief, cough, allergies, fever, stomach issues, and even stuff like itch creams. And if you have antibiotics and someone needs them, they will be willing to trade you anything for it. Everyone will need medical supplies. You can keep individual items like bandages or even small first aid kits that are cheap, small and easy to store or trade. Ammo. It'll be extremely valuable, but be very careful who you decide to trade ammo with. It may be used against you. Flashlights. These are an item that no one will be able to live without. You can stockpile lots of the smaller 99 cent flashlights for trading and buy the good ones for yourself. Matches and lighters. These are cheap enough that you can stockpile lots of them. And fire will be essential for boiling water, cooking food and keeping warm. This is another item that no one will be able to live without. Everyone will be looking for seeds as it's a long term solution to their food problem. Don't trade these for just anything. Make sure you get some really good items in return as it has so much value in the world we're going to be in. Right now, these variety packs might be 30 to 40 bucks, but the trade value after SHTF will be 10 times that. Duct tape will be needed for everything from repairs to emergency medical uses. One of the first things people go for when they're repairing or attaching something is duct tape. This is a multi-use item that everyone will need on a regular basis. So stockpile lots of duct tape. Insect repellent. People who are spending any amount of time in the woods will be really annoyed by mosquitoes. It may seem like something that's not needed for survival, but trust me, after SHTF, you'll wish you had a lot of these bottles and so will other people. Wool blankets will be in high demand. 
They're small enough for you to carry around and the material is perfect to keep you warm. Aside from real fur, these are the best way to keep warm. Portable solar chargers. These are one of the more high value bartering items. The way they work is you just put them in the sun, connect a USB cable and charge your radio, phone, rechargeable lanterns, flashlights, hand warmers, or any other USB rechargeable device. If people don't have an equivalent item that's worth trading for your solar panel, you could set up a service where you can charge their devices for them and they can trade you something in return. Knives and axes. These have and always will be essential survival tools. You can't do much without these during a survival situation or around the homestead. So if you want a bartering item that will get you some good stuff in the trade, then keep lots of these. Security is going to be a major concern if you have a trading post or hub where all these supplies are being stored and exchanged. You're going to deal with all types, anything from people who are office workers to even ex-criminals. You'll need at least two armed people keeping watch for the security of your spot 24-7. These are probably going to be people from your family or prepper group. Make sure you have those people ready before you set up your trading spot. You don't want a group of people to come and take all your stuff that you've been preparing and stockpiling for years. What are some other common items that people will be looking for after the collapse? Let me know in the comments. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching.